resource industrial wastewater treatment and we will continue our discussion on agro based industry and today we will discuss about textile industry and we'll focus on manufacturing process so the topics of today's lecture are introduction manufacturing process use of water sources of wastewater and characteristics of wastewater now basically textile industry is industry which produces fabric or yarn from fiber the fibers can be natural fiber like cotton jute silk wool bamboo or they can be synthetic fibers like rayon nylon polyester we will concentrate on cotton textile industry so let us look at manufacturing process it is divided into two steps first step dry processes second one wet processes so in first step dry processes the cotton received at the factory or industry is taken up for cleaning of all foreign material and seeds then picking carding and combing these are the processes where the fiber is loosened okay and then last one is spinning where from fiber thread is prepared so during this processes only use of water is to maintain humidity about 75% humidity is maintained so that the thread does not break so this produces only solid waste no liquid waste now let us look at wet processes once the thread is ready then first process done is sizing also known as slashing where starch solution is applied on the prepared thread and the purpose is that this solution enhances or imparts strength to that thread and it does not break easily during weaving so once the starch solution is applied then the threads are then taken for weaving and after weaving what you get is known as gray cloth and all the further processing is done on the gray cloth to get the finished product so now processes on gray cloth wet processes it starts with desizing okay sizing is application of starch so desizing is nothing but removal and one thing you need to remember that each and every process is followed by washing in textile industry so after removal of starch or desizing the fabric is washed enzymes or mineral acids are used for desizing and this results in strongest wastewater of the industry contributing up to 50% of bod this is because starch has very high bod so when it ends in waste stream the waste water also has very high bod now desizing is followed by process known as curing or scouring during which the fabric is treated with caustic sodium carbonate and sodium silicate at high pressure and steam injection purpose is to remove 
all the impurities other than cellulose. So, these impurities get dissolved and hence at the end of the process, the liquid which comes out, it is dark chocolate in color, it has high pH and it has frothy appearance. It is strong in nature contributing to about 30 percent of BOD. After curing, scouring, the fabric is washed and then it is subjected to next process that is bleaching. Bleaching is done to impart white color because natural fabric has yellow pale color. So, it is bleached with sodium hypochlorate and hydrogen peroxide and this removes pale yellow color of the fabric and the wastewater emanating from this process is characterized by high pH. About 4 percent of total BOD is contributed by this wastewater stream. After bleaching, the fabric is treated for process known as souring. Now, souring is nothing but treatment with weak mineral acid and purpose is to neutralize any alkaline agent remain because of the previous process of bleaching. Then the fabric is subjected to process known as mercerization. During this, the fabric is treated with caustic or sodium hydroxide. The objective is to impart luster or shining. So, it appears good, right? And after washing, the fabric is subjected to dyeing that is fully colored or printing that is according to design, the color is given. So, dyeing or printing is the operation followed by uh, final washing. It includes washing with detergent, then hot and cold water and the purpose of this washing is to remove excess dye. So, dyes are applied during dyeing and printing and then during final wash, all the excess dye, it is removed and then the fabric is subjected to drying and afterwards it is stored on rolls. So, this is the total manufacturing process, general process. This process may vary from industry to industry with specific production uh, to which the industry is engaged. So, if you look at water budget for this industry, the four main objective or use of water is that one is steam generation which requires about 10 to 16 percent of total water consumption. Then humidification that is for dry process requires about 7 to 13 percent. Next is main processes. So, as I said each and every step is followed by washing of textile. Hence, the processing requires about 60 to 80 percent of water and about 4 to 7 percent is for domestic use as well as miscellaneous purpose. So, the major water requirement is for processing. Okay. Now, if you look at sources of waste, there are multiple sources which includes sizing with high BOD, desizing again characterized by high BOD, curing and washing, bleaching, moisturizing, dyeing, washing, all these steps, they results in 
significance quantity of waste water with varying strength. So, can you pause the video and think what can be the characteristics or how this textile wastewater will be characterized? What is present in this wastewater? So, normally what is used during process, traces of it comes in the wastewater. So, you might have thought about presence of suspended solids, dissolved solids, organic matter, inorganic matter, alkalis, acids. Yes, you are right. The wastewater from textile industry is characterized by high pH as most of the raw material used, they are alkaline in nature. High suspended solids because except solidos, everything is uh, removed. Then high BOD because it is organic in nature, the cotton balls, so cotton fiber and COD is also high. This wastewater cannot be disposed of without proper treatment. So, here is the characteristics of wastewater from cotton textile industry. These are the average values of various parameters. Now, normally small scale textile mill, the wastewater is stronger in nature and if it is large scale mill, then the wastewater has low pollution content, volume may be high. So, the average characteristics pH 11.2 which is highly alkaline, TDS total dissolved solids 6000 to 7000 milligram per liter which once again very high, suspended solids 1000 milligram per liter again high, BOD 1000 milligram per liter and COD 2200 milligram per liter. So, all the parameters, it has quite high value that indicates that wastewater is strong in nature and it cannot be disposed of without proper treatment. So, with this we end this lesson number 17 and in the next lecture that is lesson number 18, we will discuss about treatment of wastewater as well as waste minimization for textile industry. Thanks everyone.